Hello and welcome. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a while. Too, too long, I suppose. Yeah, last year, I believe. <laughs> last well, yeah, year. it was, but yeah. we haven't had a lot to put up, have we? No, because we haven't been travelling because of lockdown. Lockdown number three. Um, we've been here for how long now? Nine weeks in this place. Nine weeks, yeah. Nine weeks. It's a nice place. We've got lots of things here. Lovely and muddy. It is now because everybody doing their Ex extra ex fries. Yeah. <laughs> exercise is really sort of uh, trudged up the towpath, isn't it? Yeah, it's worn a groove in it. <laughs> yeah, it's a groove in it. I looked out the kitchen window yesterday and there's a nice groove forming just outside the window. Yeah. The only journey travelling you've done is backwards. Backwards, literally. Backwards for a mile to the water point. Because um, Mandy has to go over her mum's every day to look after her. Um, that's been over a year now. So I yeah. sit on the boat twiddling my thumbs. And every two weeks I have to go and top the water tank up. Same as any boat. And um, I decided to do it yesterday. Because we were almost dry. And the wind had got up. And lucky enough, Mark from We're On The Move jumped out of his boat and come and help me because I was going across the canal. So he grabbed the centre line and <clears throat> pulled me in. And then we pulled it down to the lock. And I managed to chuck backwards to the water point after that. And uh, lucky enough, another chap come along and helped me pull it into the water point. Otherwise, I think I'd still be in the middle of the canal. Yeah, they had fun and games mooring up, you told me, when I got back on board. Yeah, I did. Night. But that, that was on my own. No, yeah. nobody was. Um, I think they were all too busy laughing by that stage <laughs> to uh, come out and give me a hand. Bless him. Yeah, so it's been, it's been a very quiet time. We haven't really had any problems, have we? Um, Since we've been here. <clears throat> no. I mean, we had a bit of snow the other week. Yeah, I've got some. I got some footage of that, which I'll put on after this, um, and some of the icicles as well, and a few things I saw. Going backwards over the downs, um, lovely, lovely ice, icicles, wasn't it? Ice sculptures. Yeah. So I'll put that up at the end of this, so you can have a look at it. We did have, um, we did have some good news and some bad news in the family. The good news is that um, our granddaughter Lily graduated from the British Racing School back in December, and well, that was a year ago. Back in December. Last year. It was last year, yes. Back in December. That time's going too quick. <laughs> we managed to get her, or I managed to get her, to John Joe's at Jack Dawes Castles, where she's apprenticed to. Before lockdown again. She literally just before lockdown. Day, day before, about 24 yeah, hours. We, we knew that this lockdown three was coming in, and we were. What were we? Where we are here. Is, we were here. No, we were here, but we were in zone three. I believe. Um, I think it was zone three, wasn't it? Because we were the same as John Joe's. But we were, Swindon was a four. Swindon was four. Yeah. We were two. We were outside of Swindon. Yeah. So so it was okay for Lily to come to us and because she's part of our bubble. And then from there, I took her to john joe's and and the back again so we didn't go anywhere near swindon so we, we were only traveling through it anyway so that was good so she starts she went up the weekend a few day, a day or so before she started and uh, she's had a lovely time she's um she's working well well she's riding to improving she's been to a few courses now isn't she up and down race courses all behind closed doors yeah. she's going from strength to strength so well done lily looking forward to seeing how you're getting on for the rest of your apprenticeship what was the bad news the bad news i lost my uncle oh, through yeah. covid he, um, that. yes it was a difficult time because we didn't know he was poorly um because my cousin had lost our details and and my uncle was or well, it's my mum's brother. Well, your auntie used to do all the communication. Yeah, she did. She passed. She passed, passed away about two years ago. Train. Wait for the train to go. Oh, that was bad last night. I know it was. Freight trains all night. Yeah. So we um, so we lost him. He would 
been in ill with COVID in hospital for 28 days. So we sadly lost him a day or a couple of days before Christmas. Yeah. Um, we didn't know anything about it until the funeral notice came up. In the paper. In the paper, which turned out to be a blessing because I think if mum had found out that he'd been in hospital through the December, um, I, you know, it wouldn't have been very good for my mum. So we've uh, we've um, we've had a chat with my cousin since then because we contacted him and we're all going to get together and have a little bit of a do when we can later in the year to um, remember mm. my uncle. And then our daughter in Scotland caught Covid. That's our second daughter, that's Charlotte. Yeah, together with number two granddaughter. <laughs> Lexi. Um, and her mother-in-law. Graham, oh. yeah, the mother-in-law got it. Yeah. So that and was that was quite odd because that was the sixth of them because uh, Carol's part of their bubble because Charlotte looks after Carol, they're same they're all in the same family, and three got COVID at the family and three didn't, three didn't which is very strange. Um, but Charlotte was quite poorly for about ten days. Yeah, she's only just, I think about a week ago. I think it was, wasn't it? Well, she's gone back now looking after the horses getting up perhaps half five in the morning. She's doing her in now, isn't it? Yeah, but as I said to her, it's she's too much. it's too much too soon, so she's just staggering herself back into the routine with the horses because the children aren't back at school up in Scotland just yet. Yes, they are. Are they? Mm -hmm. What, her age group? I think they Oh. Um, Can we ever get Lexi's 10? Which groups? Wouldn't there? It's the ones under Two ages went back this week. To under eight, so I don't know which way Leah holds on that because she's eight. And the youngest granddaughter is too young to go to school yet. Mm. So, not quite sure yet. Just wrecks the house. <laughs> yeah, wrecks the house. So that's the news that we have at the moment. We're still here in our mooring, which is great. We've um, not very far away from our friends, which is great. We've just been down to spot him. I've just given him a resupply. Yeah, we just... Uh... <laughs> you, I helped him the other week. In fact, you could see it on their vlog i asked him to go up to the other water point which is one and a half miles the other way um he couldn't get down for the locks anyway i helped them out and the following day i had four bottles of beer delivered so that's great after yesterday's escapade he was hanging on to this bit of rope for dear life it stopped the boat blowing across the canal um i've just done the same to him so yeah so we just delivered some beer we're all square we i didn't want to because when mandy brought them back <laughs> Uh, I hadn't had those ones. There was a so choice. There was I, a choice. There was there was a I choice. Next week, when Mandy goes down the shop, it'll be a get the the, the other lot. A box of ale. <laughs> so. Add a lot. So we do go try and keep ourselves amused a bit. But um, yes, it's it's. And we've had um, a bit of wildlife round. We've had oh, we have yes a mating pair of uh, egrets. Yeah. Not great egrets. I don't think. Um, they were just ordinary egrets, but not yeah. that common um, in England, more in Europe. Um, I've seen the barn owl flying around. We've had the kingfisher, and a couple of King days ago, Fisher. where I we parked the car down here by the ridge, um, there was a pair of hares in the field. So that was quite nice. And then, that, funnily yeah. enough, the following day, I saw another hare in a different area. So that was quite nice to see because obviously. Next month is Mad March Hair yeah. Month, isn't it? So Boxing hairs. it's quite nice to see them out. Yeah, the weather's slowly getting better. It's quite warm outside at the moment. Well, we are, what are we now? It's 20 to 5 in the evening and it's a sultry 12 degrees. Mm. And that's why we're in our t-shirts. No, not in the boat. It's 20 odd degrees well, in, the it's in here. But still it's still got a fire going. But it's 12, it? I don't know. 24 degrees in here. Quite last week. Was it 10 days ago we were struggling to get 18. Yeah, no, it's always been pretty good in here, isn't it? It's been pretty good in here. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not been too bad. I mean, glad to see that the actual days are getting longer. No, they're still 24 hours long. Yeah, I know, but... The, you mean the daylight? Daylight's getting longer. So, you know, never know. We might better go for a cruise in the evening sometime when they get back from mum. You never know. No. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's 10 locks that way to the windy knoll 
Anyway, we can't move until another six weeks. 12th of April. Yeah. 12th of April. So that'd be um, interesting to see because that's also, I believe, the same time that the higher boats can come out as well. So there'll be a mad rush of boats moving all over the place. They're already the moving. Yeah. Yeah. We've had three move close to us in the last day. 72 hours. has been one each day for the last three days. Yeah. And uh, they're not supposed to be moved. Well, you, you can move for certain things. And the one that's come in today, I've just had a chat with them. And they do need to get to the pump out, so which is about a mile to go. So. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. No. So um, that's all we can tell you at the moment. I'll show you some footage that I've taken. Um, as I say, there isn't any video of Jonathan going for the water because that's just reversing and it's not no fun. it wasn't it, i was i was dodging submarines it was zigzag everywhere yeah it's not fun when you've got a 70 foot boat trying to steer it when the wind gets up backwards no, so, no fun going no, backwards anyway no it's not a, it's not, it's, um, not a recommendation not, not a good view and no we don't have a bow thruster no no bow thrusters this is a traditional narrow boat i'm so. gonna have to teach mandy how to use a barge pole and stand on the front when i'm reversing yeah. So she push it. Yeah. Push it around. Have to do that. Still, hopefully one day I'll get to learn how to uh, drive the boat because we still haven't done that yet, have we? Be like Julie. You'd be too scared. <sighs> That's one thing Julie and I have both said that we've got to do. Julie, being we're on the move, is that we have to learn how to drive the boat. It was fine when we were on the Thames because it was white. Yeah, and uh, but it's something we have to learn to do. I'm still learning. I know. I was definitely but learning also, yesterday. Jonathan's going to have to teach me how to do the service on the engine as well. No, I showed you that once, and I got it all over my slippers. I, yeah, talking of slippers. Yeah. My, oh, Lily in her slippers. It's a picture of my daughter. Cuddling a horse. Beautiful picture. Cuddling and uh, cuddling a horse doing the evening round. Anyway, and when I looked, I thought it was a beautiful picture, and then I looked again, and she's there with her slippers Slippers on. on. <sighs> slippers. Anyway, yeah, that's... Mandy says to me, look at this. I thought, well, it's just number one granddaughter cuddling her horse. She just... said, look again. So I'm looking again. She said, well, can't you see her? What? Oh, on. yeah. She has slippers on. But then that's the same as her mum and her auntie. Yeah, many a time out in their slippers. So it yeah. still runs through the family, you can't change it. We keep the two girls with us. There they are there. That's it, that's Kate and uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, on that your Father's Day. Ago, Father's Day mug. Yep. Keep calm, it's Father's Day. Not yet, no. not yet. Anyway, so that's our just little um, update. update of what we've been doing and not a lot, really. Not a lot. Not a well, lot. you have, you have to go to your mum's every day. But, I know, um, but I... There's no point in me really filming that because no. it's, although I go through some beautiful countryside. It's nothing to do with narrow boats. No, but it's quite nice. Sometimes I see things and it's really, really nice. Um, but it's the same thing I've been doing for a long time. And and as everything else is still in lockdown, there's really nothing else we can show you at the moment, is there? She only drives over to her mum so she can watch the <clears throat> blokes on the push bikes. Push bikes. Oh. All the men in Lycra. No, no. I thought... <laughs> Fortunately, it's a main route, isn't it? But there's, they don't see them when it's cold and it's wet and windy. Thank God. <laughs> I just don't see them.
hopefully next time when I get this vlog going, another vlog up, um, it'll be a little bit more interesting. Now we've got some sort of focus on what we're doing. Um, until then, we'll catch you later. If you like the vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Which is? Never enough cruising. I've forgotten. I've been knowing you ones up for months. <laughs> I know, never enough cruising. And please put your comments below. And if there's anything you want us to do. I've been a swan tapping. Oh, yeah. Swan is outside tapping. Yeah, it's we had to close. had to close the window, not really. The curtains. The, yeah, close, drop the curtain. Not just because of the sun, because every time we sit here, the, the swan is tapping for food. Dogs have just heard him as well. So they're going to drop down and have a word. Let's get him some bread. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I hear you laughing. Oh, patience. Is a virtue that swans don't have. Yeah, then. Hey, stop for you.